What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about I Know What You Did Last Summer, Thanksgiving 2, Megan, the spinoff to Megan anyway, and then Final Destination 6. So just to start off here with I Know What You Did Last Summer. I Know What You Did Last Summer, the 2025 sequel to the first two films, at least that's all we know right now. We don't know if it really has anything to do with that third one. Who cares? But that movie is going to reportedly now start shooting in October and last through December. And the shooting location is somewhere in Australia, I guess. This information came from Production Weekly and is coming days after another report claimed that filming would be starting in August. So we'll see which one ends up being correct. If the October one is true, that would leave a good chunk of time to factor in Carla, I guess, but hopefully not in a tacked on capacity, I would hope, and give more time for Freddie Prince and Jennifer to work out their schedules and negotiations if more time is needed. Prince previously stated that the talks had been going well so far and that they hadn't had a bad week yet. So hopefully he signs along with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Again, circling back to Carla really quick. The last thing we saw of any type of indication that Carla would be back after Brandy herself made it known she would be open to it, but that she didn't even know this would be happening, is that Jennifer, the director, started following her. I think some other people started following her who were associated with the project. So it seems like they are trying to get the ball moving and us getting some type of Carla return. I just hope that it is not some sort of cheap, cheap tacked on appearance that doesn't do anything for the narrative would it be nice to see her yeah i just don't really think it's necessary to treat the character like that if she wasn't going to even be in your original plans to begin with i would want to see something substantial for her so we'll just have to wait and see again like i said the story supposed to allegedly be 30 years later we're back in southport something happens on the night of an engagement party or something along those lines and we jump a year later to when the shenanigans really start beginning now we're going to talk about thanksgiving too so Addison Ray is seemingly going to return in the upcoming sequel to Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving 2. Eli Roth sounds like he wants it anyway. He gave this comment to Variety on Tuesday, I believe. He said, I love Addison Ray. He said this Tuesday at the premiere of his new video game movie adaptation, Borderlands, which I've heard is complete trash. I'm not even going to bother to watch it. But he said, we kept her alive for a reason. He said, it doesn't feel like a Thanksgiving movie without Addison Ray. Now, wasn't Addison the character of Gabby, one of Jessica's friends or something along those lines? I know Addison, to me at least, did fine from what I recall in that movie. I haven't bothered to watch it since it released. But with a comment like that, I'd hope Gabby is going to have a more crucial role this time around, if so. And it would also appear that based off of that comment, you definitely have written Gabby into your screenplay in some capacity. Variety did note that sources indicated that Addison hadn't signed or secured her deal to officially be involved yet, but Eli's comments indicate that Gabby is involved in his screenplay at least. Now, there haven't been too many Thanksgiving 2 updates, and Thanksgiving 2 is slowly becoming a project I couldn't care less about. The more time passes with no news. And again, I haven't even bothered to rewatch that first movie since it dropped, but I didn't find it to be a bad film at all whatsoever. So we'll see what comes up of the sequel and if it can surpass that original. Now let's talk about Megan spinoff Soulmate. Deadline gave us an update on the Megan spinoff titled Soulmate today. After finding a breakout film role last year in New Line's Evil Dead Rise, Australia's Lily Sullivan has landed a role, a lead role in Soulmate. She's going to be the lead. Atomic Monster and Blumhouse's new film out of the Megan universe. Sullivan will portray the gorgeous, artificially intelligent android that a man acquires to help him cope with the loss of his recently deceased wife. In an attempt to create a truly sentient partner, the man inadvertently turns a harmless love bot into a deadly soulmate. Doesn't Megan Fox have a similar film that's out right now? And not only that, like I said before, the last time I talked about Soulmate, New Line and Warner Brothers have a similar film dropping next year but it has nothing to do with like someone coping with depression it's a little bit more twisted than that the report goes on to say while the film is part of the megan universe sources stress that it's a great deal more risque than the original horror thriller following a different story and characters it falls in the tradition of 90s domestic thrillers but with a modern technological twist now i thought lily did a great job in evil dead rise so i look forward to seeing her take on this role and whatever comes of this soulmates spinoff to Megan, uh, still haven't gotten any confirmation on things that have been alleged about Megan too, as far as like that second doll Amelia I talked about earlier this year. But the Megan universe seems to be 
shaping up to be something of interest and hopefully it can live up to what was presented in that initial film that came out in what was it 2023 at this point last year so diving into the last topic here we're going to talk about final destination six final destination six's opening sequence like i stated will be a premonition event that showcases a tower collapse with a restaurant at the top of it the restaurant is known as skyview set in the 1950s the restaurant or the tower itself is supposed to be 10 to 15,000 feet in the air stuff like that but what else can you expect from final destination bloodlines well the film has a focus on something i'll just call death coins death coins they first make their appearance in the opening scene and they are very important throughout the rest of the film there's a not so reliable dance floor you can expect to see as well a musical instrument is going to cause some trouble and an annoying person will be the cause of of the opening scene incident thank frankie from final destination 3 because of course there's there's obviously things that are in place that led to it anyway but there's a person who specifically is annoying as hell is what i've been told that pushes things into motion for that opening sequence to go into effect head on so when it comes to final destination six bloodlines i think viewer non also just recently put out a tweet saying that they've heard that the film is very good i again myself have heard the movie is fine to good i have not heard it's complete trash but like i've said it doesn't sound like it does anything to really push the lore any further when it comes to death they do tease things that can go into a sequel with a certain person being mentioned who doesn't seem to have an appearance on screen now i myself think that they are trying to protect this and i do think there is a chance we could have a cameo appearance from someone in final destination bloodlines I just think that when it comes to people who have seen it, they have decided to withhold said cameo. That is that is just my gut feeling, because right now there is no cameo in the film. But I wouldn't be surprised if we do get a cameo in the final cut of the movie that drops when it arrives in 2025. So let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.